Hello everyone. Uh, today we'll start with another question series of programmatic advertising part 9 which is nine series where i have already made eight series which you can go through in my channel and website. So we'll start with the first question without wasting any time further. So first question is that what do you mean by day parting? So day parting is configuring day and time targeting settings for line items and the process of dividing the day into different parts in order to run ads only during a specific times. For example, if you want to run an ad for Airtel and Airtel wants the ad to be run only between 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. every day and uh, not to be shown on Saturday and Sunday. So the campaign is to be set between Monday to Friday and between 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. only because they want to target the peak working or time of the audience so peak working time is generally between 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. so the day parting is done accordingly according to the demands of the advertisers in this regard we will discuss certain examples to understand day parting better so first common use of cases of day parting is case one which if you want to run that item line item only on a specific days of the week so in under that you have to under repeating on select the days when you don't want the line items to deliver second select don't run on these days example you want the line item to run only between monday to friday so under repeating on select saturday and sunday select don't run on these days repeating on so sunday and saturday is to be uh, uh, like uh, not run and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is to be run. Second common case is if you want to run the line only on a specific time period for some days, not at all on the other days. Set the desired start time and end time under repeating. Under uh, repeating on, select the days when you want the limited time range, click add, click add time period. Under repeating on, select the days when you don't want the line item to be delivered at all. Select don't run on these days. You want the line item to run between 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Monday, Friday and not or on Saturday, Sunday. Select a start time of 9 a.m. and end time of 5 p.m. Under repeating on, select Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Click add time period. Under repeating on, select Saturday and Sunday. Select don't run on these days. So start time is 9 a.m. and time is 5 p.m. Repeating on Sunday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Example, you want the line item to run 9 a.m., 5 p.m. on Monday, Friday and not all on Saturday, Sunday. Select start time of 9 a.m. and end time of 5 p.m. And repeating on select Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Click add time period. And repeating on select Saturday and Sunday. Select don't run on these days. Start time is 9 a.m. and time is 5 p.m. So repeating on Sunday and Saturday and rest all other these days don't run like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Third case if you want to run the line item only on a specific time period for some days. All day on the other days. Set the desired start time and end time under repeating on. Select the days when the time range applies. The unselected days will be available all day. You want the line item to run between 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturday, Sunday and all day Monday, Friday. Set a start time of 1 p.m. and end time of 4 p.m. Under repeating on, select Saturday and Sunday. Start time is 1 p.m. and time is 4 p.m. Repeating on Sunday and Saturday. And uh, it, this will not run on Saturday and Saturday. Other days it will run Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So what do you mean by default ad impression? So gray GIF system default ad and unfilled impression will serve to inventory where no line items are targeted. And the user will see a blank ad slot. What is delivery inspector? Gives information on which ads were delivered. When unexpected ads are delivered, use the delivery inspector to find out why. What is an engaged view? In the context of a skippable ads, you have the ability to traffic reserve CPM based video ads that can be skipped or exited after a certain duration is left. The skip button appears after 5 seconds if viewed to completion or for 30 seconds, whichever comes first. An engaged view is counted in reporting. What is event rotation? A type of rotation of creatives where all creatives in a line item are delivered in an approximately even proportion. Suppose there are four creatives and uh, it, they are set up on event rotation. 
and 1 lakh impressions are to be served so 25,000 impressions per creative will be served that is an event rotation and optimized rotation if a line item has more than one creative of the same size and you select the optimized rotation option add may to give roughly 75 percent of the impression to the creative with the highest click through rate and the remaining 25 percent to the other creatives this continually updated rotation is calculated after thousands of impressions have been served if a creative that originally received only 25 percent of impressions starts to earn a higher CTR the optimized delivery will shift in favor of that creative so here uh, what you need to uh, understand is that in optimized rotation suppose you have kept uh, like two creatives in one line item one creative uh, like three creatives are there in one line item and one creative is giving the highest CTR so 75% of total impressions suppose like for uh, one lakh impressions around 75,000 impressions will be served on that creative and rest 25% will be served on another second and third creative. So that is uh, the way how this works. Row optimized rotation works. And suppose the second creative starts giving better CTR on another day, and then the 75% impression delivery for that day will serve to uh, like on that creative only, and 25% will serve to the other creatives. So it all depends on the impression delivery. After every thousand impressions, this keeps on counting, and and the uh, Google Ad Manager automatically determines how uh, the uh, optimization of the creative rotation and the impression and distribution is to be done. What is weighted rotation? So, if you select weighted in the rotative uh, rotated creative list for a line item containing more than one creative of the same size, each creative will rotate based on the frequency you specify. The weight you enter for a creative will be divided by the total weight of all creatives. So set the rotation weight for each creative, click the line items creative tab, click the weight you want to edit, enter the delivery weight and click save. Examples of weighted rotation, for example if you have 3 creatives with weights 5, 10 and 10, you can determine how a creative will show by dividing your creative weight by the total weight which is 25, creative A weight 5, 5 out of 25. B weight 10, 10 out of 25, 40%, creative C weight 10, 10 out of 20, 40%. Why did my creative deliver differently than the weights I entered? A line item display creative setting can affect delivery weighting if only one of the line items creative is allowed or if a roadblock is defined. Multiple sizes in an ad request can affect delivery weighting if a line items creatives contain size over rights or are of a variety of sizes. Example an ad request containing both 300 into 250 and 300 into 600 might trigger a different creative rotation set than an ad request that only contains 300 into 250. Examples of weighted rotation if you have added creative level targeting ad manager evaluates the targeting before considering the weight of creatives Only the weights of creatives in the same line item that satisfy targeting are considered Other creatives in the same line item whose creative level targeting didn't match the ad requests are not considered examples of weighted creative creative level targeting Assume you have four creatives in the same line item that each have creative targeting Level targeting creative a b c and d creative a and b are targeted to serve only to males while c and d are to be served to only females. So A and B are both weighted with a value of 5 while C and D are both weighted with a value of 45. Add request that target males serve equally 50 to 50 percent to creatives A and B and as their weighted value is the same while creative C and D are not considered since their targeting does not satisfy add request target to males. What is sequential rotation? Use this setting for when you want a user to see a series of creatives in order sometimes referred to as storyboarding. Rotate a sequence of creatives in a line item. Sometimes advertisers want to display a set of creatives to the user in sequence in the same entity. This is called storyboarding and it allows the advertiser to control a user's experience of an ad campaign across multiple views. To create a storyboard and control crea creative sequencing, use the sequential creative rotation feature. Sequential rotation eligibility. Line items that use sequential rotation can only be served to users who accept identifiers. Double click cookies or advertising IDs. Apple ID, FA, Android ID. This is because the ad server uses identifier to determine which line item creative a given user has previously seen. Users who do not accept identifiers are not served line items that use sequential rotations. In addition, sequential rotation cannot be used with non personalized ads. What is a first party cookie? A cookie that's set by the domain in the user is visiting instead of by a different third party domain. 
Cookies are categorized as third party or first party depending on whether they are associated with the domain of the site a user visits. Third party cookies are associated with a domain that is different from the domain of the site a user visits. The third party cookies used by Google marketing platform advertising products and Google ad manufacturing may be associated with doubleclick.net or a country specific Google domain such as google.com. Note that this does not change the name or content of the actual cookie. The difference between a third party cookie and a first party cookie is only a matter of which domain a browser is pointed towards. The exact same kind of cookie might be sent in either scenario. What do you mean by flight dates? The date range for an ad campaign to run. What is floating ad? Type of ad that floats on uh, top of a page's content. A floating ad can move with a content as a user scrolls or maintains locked position on a page as a user scrolls. What is fluid? Native ad size that allows more flexibility when styling your ad. Ad manager automatically sizes the ad by filling the width of the enclosing column and adjusting the height as appropriate just like a regular HTML div on your site. What is forecast adjustment? An adjustment made to the anticipated traffic to your website or app. With forecast adjustments, you can make changes so traffic patterns are better reflected in forecasting numbers. This is helpful when you create new content or you have unusual traffic spikes during high profile events. Adjustment features. With forecast adjustments and measures, you can specify the dates when the adjustment takes place, use segments to apply adjustment to specific inventory, adjust the predicted ad uh, opportunities to reflect upcoming traffic pattern changes. What is forecasting? The process of estimating how much ad inventory or a website or app will have in the future. What do you mean by frequency capping? It helps to limit how often an ad from a line item is served to the same user in a specific period of time. Supported time ranges are minutes, hours, days, weeks, or months, and multiple capping rules may be applied. For example, you can set a frequency cap limiting the same user to one impression per day and three impressions per week. So that's all for today. And uh, hope you enjoy your Sunday. Have a good day. Thank you very much.